and not keep putting on my glasses. They keep on getting so foggy. All right. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Nina. So we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna talk about how to create one, a brand board, but also just how to use Canva for branding in general, creating cohesive branding elements. We'll call it that. So um, for those of you that are new here, my name is Socially Nina. I am a digital marketing consultant, AKA a video strategist. I use a lot of video to connect with my audience. In fact, you'll see a lot of videos from me on this channel. So. If you're new here, a couple things. I usually create videos in packs. So this is part of a series or a pack of videos about Canva Pro. If you haven't watched the first video about your setup, I highly suggest you go look, even if you've been in Canva. There's some tips and tricks that I show you that you can use as a graphic designer, right, to set up your Canva. This next portion is gonna be about how you create a cohesive brand. So. Creating your brand board is something that's really, really important. What you're gonna do is make sure that all of your aesthetic online, so our brand board is for our digital branding, right? Our visual branding. Um, that's gonna make sure that all over the internet, if I see you on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or even just speaking on your website everywhere, that everything looks the same, right? You don't have a pink and then a pink orange and a pink green or whatever colors. You have the exact same colors, you have the same elements. So if you're using triangles, you're using triangles everywhere. If you're into circles or squiggly lines, it's all about keeping it cohesive as in one brand. Notice my hair is blue, nails are blue, pink, pink. You see those a lot in my branding along with the yellow. So it's about keeping a co cohesive brand for myself and I wanna show you how to do that with um, Canva. What this also does is if you are gonna hire someone, say you're hiring someone from Upwork or Fiverr or any kind of design company, instead of saying, well, my colors are like pink and green and blue and a little bit of black, what you're gonna do is hand over your brand board and your brand board is actually gonna show them the look and the feel, which is really important, of your brand. So that means if your brand is energetic and happy all the time, versus if it's um, serious and professional or uplifting, whatever it is. You wanna make sure if you hire someone that everything is cohesive, that they're using the same fonts, they're using the same colors, and that your audience doesn't see a shift when you start getting people on your team. Also, when you do your graphics yourself, you wanna make sure that they all look cohesive. It doesn't mean cookie cutter looking the same, it just means you want it to be cohesive. So have fun with this. If you do not have a logo, don't, don't worry. You can skip that part. We'll create a separate video, link will be below, on how to create a logo within Canva. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, we're gonna start off with creating your brand board, but there's a couple of things that you need to know, and I'm actually gonna pull over this very simple, simple outline that I'm gonna do for today. I'm going to take you through, um, of course, the ultimate goal is to build out your brand or mood board, but there's a couple of things I suggest you do um, first. One, I have an article called The Ultimate Branding Checklist. This is going to take you through some of the terms that I'll be using today. Um, it's just a checklist on everything that you need, basically, um, for a brand. Now, you don't have to do everything. It could be overwhelming. I always suggest that people go through this and come back to it or just print it out. Um, I have a download for free, but you um, basically kind of learn about what you need as a whole as a company, but certain things in the beginning are more important than others. For instance, when you're choosing your brand colors, there's certain things you want to keep in mind and then other stuff. So today what I'm going to go through is um, basically I'm going to help you find some inspiration for your brand board after I tell you what it is. Um, your color palette generator. We're gonna also um, go through the psychology of colors and then we're gonna talk about create, and we're actually gonna do this and add your colors, elements, photos, fonts, logos. If you don't have a logo, don't worry about it. Um, but let's actually just start off with me showing you what a brand board is or a mood board, okay? So depending on what your your um, field is like if you're in let's say um, clothing designer fashion it might be a mood board right but basically what we're doing is we want to make sure 
that when we create graphics or any kind of social media or visual items, posters, um, logos, uh, brochures, designs, anything, that they all have the same look and feel. So what we're going, going for is something like this, where you have a couple of photo inspirations, your actual colors that you're gonna use, and maybe your font and your logo that you'll add on there. So we're gonna create something similar to that. We're probably gonna use this template. I'll include this link in the description, but we're probably gonna use this template for today or something similar. But I'll include this so you can read over it, but the whole goal is to make sure your brand looks and feels the same way each time. Now, when I say feels, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Now, if you search for the psychology, and I'll include these links as well, color psychology um, or color wheels and things like that, you're gonna find a lot of articles on colors and how they make people feel and how they impact them, especially when it comes to purchasing. Now, what I did here is I searched for in Google Images, so you just go to Google, and actually let me show you. Um, if you go to Google and you search for color, color psychology, then you click on images, you'll get these, and that gives you a lot of visual images regarding, to, regarding brand guides. You'll see this one come up a lot. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things to bring out some things about your brand. And you can even look at this picture, very bright and happy and sunshiny and fun. So it makes you feel vibrant, right? Now, when you look at some of the logos that you're used to, all of these pop-ups, um, you'll see how they make you feel. Look at this, optimism, right? UPS, I hope I get my package. <laughs> um, and then, um, yes, I think I'm funny. Um, you can see some sodas in here, right? So you're gonna wanna look at the way the color makes you feel. Again, I will include these links. I just wanna make sure that when you're looking at your brand colors, that you know in business, you wanna make sure that those brand colors fit what you're trying to do. Green, health, nature, you always think of like Whole Foods, think of Trader Joe's, you think of saving the planet. So make sure that you're choosing the right brand color. Now, while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a search for some pictures on, on Google to inspire me. And so I wanna look for um, vibrant um, color um, business photos. I don't know, I'm just making this up. And I'm gonna click on images. Now, if I find something I like, like this one, I really do like this one, right? Or I can say something like happy, okay? I can look at food, okay? This might be a good one and it pulls colors most. See the reds, the greens. There's a rest there's a reason why, see there's whole foods, right? There's a reason why um, fast food restaurants always have a lot of red and yellow. Um, I'm just gonna look at, let's do vibrant pink colors, right? You can also look for things like color palette, Inspo, uh, you can say inspiration. Now you can go and do this on um, Pinterest as well. I'm just showing you some quick ways to kind of look at it. And so look that they ha look and see here that you'll see when you look it up that they have brand boards here, but they're all kind of they all came from a picture. Okay, so if you have ideas for what colors you want to use, you can actually just say blue, purple. Okay. And you can see different colors that have those. Okay. And let's actually put pink in here. Pick out green. All right. So I'm going to download a couple of photos and I'm going to use this for my brand board as inspiration. And I'm just going to save them to a folder. And let's pause this real quick. Okay, so I am going to show you what I did. So I basically just downloaded a bunch of pictures. I'm gonna make up a company for the rest of this, this masterclass. So basically, um, I'm gonna create a company called Cotton Candy Martini. So this is a bar, right? And so what I did was I downloaded different pictures that inspired me. I'm gonna go back and delete ones that maybe are too bold or too out there. 
I think like this one, this is what I, I literally do this, you guys. You don't have to do this step. I'm just going to show you. I'll go through and say yes. And then I'll go through and be like, maybe, no, whatever. Um, one, and then it groups them together. Again, you can do this however you like. But now when I, um, I have them here, kind of groups them together to see if I have that good looking feel that I'm looking for. So this one's a little too bright. It's not out there. So I'm just finding some inspiration. Um, this can take some time or you might just find one picture that works for you. That's all you have. All you need is, um, one picture that works. But I'm going to go through and kind of narrow this down to a couple and you'll see what I do next. Okay. I've narrowed it down to these photos. What I'm going to do is use one photo in particular. I like the aesthetic of this, like the feel of it. Um, but this is the one I really want to base my colors on, either this one or this one. So what I'm going to do is upload it to Canva's color picker or color generator. And I'm going to be completely honest. Um, it's one of the more basic ones. So if you're starting out, you can use this. But I have some other ones that I use that are a little bit more detailed. I have a separate video on that, or I can release other videos if you want me to try some other ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm on Canva's color palette generator. This is one of the tools that I talked about. Where are they at? Yeah, one of the tools that I talked about in my first video. So if you haven't looked at my first video, go back and watch that before you go any further. All right, so I'm going to click on upload image. And what I'm going to do is pick this photo. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this photo. And I'll tell you why I call it basic because I can't really, I actually I haven't used it in a while. So let's see. Okay. So I can't really pick the different colors in here. Um, I just, it just kind of tells me what the colors are. And this is great because look, everything's in here. But it's, I don't know, it's not bright enough for me, and it's not picking the right areas for me. So I'm just going to drag another photo here, see if it looks a little bit brighter. And this does look a little bit brighter. I still am not loving this. Like, I do want it to be a little brighter. I am going to actually use my original tool. I'm going to drag one more, and if I don't like it, I'm going to use my original tool, and then I'll come back. I'm going to do that off screen because I want this one to be all about Canva. Okay, I actually used the other um, application to find the colors that I wanted, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys what's important here. These are the names of the colors. Not as important. You can write those down, but um, what I would do is copy this, and I'm just going to put it on my little notebook over here. Um, but these are what matter, um, the hex numbers. So those numbers with the pound symbol in front is going to tell you how it's actually going to tell the system exactly what color that is so you get the exact same color each time and it makes it a lot easier so we're going to write those down okay so i'm in canva now and what i've done is i've actually uploaded my inspired um or inspiration to this um folder and then i uploaded or i edited my brand kit to include my candy cane martini bar colors. These are the colors I picked out. And so um, I can go ahead and do the fonts now if I like, or I can pick the font within Canva. Um, there is a Canva font picker, um, and I'll include a link below so you guys can take a look at that. But I did go over all of this in the first video um, about setting up your Canva. So I'm just gonna make a note, font picker. You can do that outside of here, but for now, we'll just use the internal font. So what I'm going to do is look for brand, and I'm actually going to wait. What we're doing is going to be a brand board, but I want you to see that there is a brand guide presentation. I actually started one for testing this, but if I click on brand guides. The board is one quick, um, and actually, let's go to board first. Brand board. Remember, these are just like one pager, so you have everything you need in one place. Now, the brand guide, which I really urge you to do at one point is, and I have one, but it's so outdated, so keep it updated. Um, but when you go through it, the brand guide actually gives you all of the details about your logos, about wording that you use, um, about your um, philosophy, your mission, um, how you engage with people. But again, 
you have to think for the future. No one, if you have like someone on your team or people on your team in the future, you have to get everything out of your head. And that's what this does. It gives your employees or your team guides on how to use your brand. Today, we're going to start really small and we're just going to do a brand board. And actually, let's go back home. I forgot I'm in a presentation. I've already started something. All right, let's get started. I'm actually going to show you a trick. I'm going to go to templates. And I'm going to search the 50,000 templates and look for a brand board. And there's also mood boards and photo collages. Mood board, brand board. Okay, so you'll see more things like photo collages here. I really don't want the photo collages, but they come up. We're going to use this one, right? You can look at it. But if I click on here, notice that the colors are already there. So you can copy and paste if they already have colors. It shows you different designs that are very similar. I don't, I like this look and feel, but they have like a film over it and it's a little bit harder to use. So I'm going to click on use this template. And what I want to do is click here. Notice since I've already updated my brand kit, my colors are here, so it's easy. I don't have to remember those hex numbers. They're actually here because I set it up ahead of time. And all I'm simply doing is going through and I am selecting each color. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't have room for all of them, so I have to decide. I'm going to make one the background color. So I think it's going to be, and I usually would do like white or gray in the background, but this time, this is going to be a little bright. So we'll see if this, I don't want it like this. No. So let's do this and then change this one to this color. All right. These are too similar. So I might actually change that a little bit. And we really don't need all of these colors. But for now, this is fine. Um, and actually, let's do this. Sorry, you guys. I got to go back and forth and make this right now. Or it's going to bug me. I'm going to go in the background and I'm going to make this like a light gray or white. There we go. Now all I'm going to do is replace my pictures. Now, when you're replacing your pictures, remember I already uploaded my pictures to my folder. So I'm going to go to my folders, go to my training. Um, there we go. I can, there's one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So let's see which ones. And you can add, oh, there's more here. Duh. You can add more. So what I'm going to do is I want the ones that really represent the brand to stand out. And so this one, this one is my main one. So I want this one to be here. I'm going to double click on it. That shows me that there's a little frame here. And I can use, anytime you see two arrows, it means you resize. If you see four arrows, that means you move it. So I'm going to take this. This is in crop mode. I know it's in crop mode because it says done and cancel here. When I click out of it, I see crop, right? So if I click on it or double click on it, it goes into this mode. All right. So I'm going to drag it. And it's going to be weird because I don't have enough room. I just want to drag it up, actually. Do I want it up or down? I want it down. There we go. Uh, this doesn't have to it, well. It has to be good because this is what you're going to be using. Um, I you can even do stuff like this and zoom in on it because I don't really want the stuff in the background. But I want the stuff at the top. So you can play with that. Um, you can also change the aesthetic. So let me drop over this one. Do I want it here? I want it to show very well. Okay, so I want it here. Yeah, this is fine. And notice how this has like a real kind of dreamy look and feel. If that's what I'm going for, I can go up to the top and go to filter. And you can kind of play with these to see like drama and then the intensity. I can turn that down so it's less, but it still kind of matches. So there's a couple of things that you can do to make sure it matches. Um, but be careful. It's Again, it's just the look and feel. I'm going to go ahead and undo. This is at the top here. Okay. And then I'm going to undo. It does it each step. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring over some of these other ones. So let's bring over the tree. I actually don't like, hold on real quick. 
I'm going to try something because I think I might be able to use these. So I want, I just want a photo here. Let's just take my photos. It on top, and I'm just going to move it. I don't need this frame. It's a lot easier for me to work with. I just deleted the frame. I pressed delete twice. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Then I don't have to work inside the frame. I just want to notice when I move, there's two lines, right? That lets me know where it's lined up. So it's lined up at the top, but at the bottom it's not. So I'm going to line it up. So now it's lined up at the bottom and the top. Almost a little bit more, but that's good enough. Okay, so I like that. And then I'll just drag these other ones over as well. So I may make this one. I would play around with this a little bit until you get exactly what you want. But basically, I've created my brand inspiration here. What I can do to kind of make this look bigger, I mean, better is make it a little bit bigger, overlap, maybe put in a put a box around it but here's where you want to and actually I know what I'm going to do here's where you want to include your font so here instead of saying coming soon let's pick our font so I'm going to pick fonts that are kind of playful I like photo shoot but I don't know if I can see it okay so let's use this you're going to pick your font I would pick it outside of this and kind of play around with it but make sure people can see so this would be um so I can read that, right? Candy, can't really read that. Candy cane, you can, but not really. But martini, you can. So for sake of this training, I'm just going to say this is the font we're going with. And so instead of writing um, the actual and photo shoot, there we go. That's what I want, photo shoot. Instead of at writing words here about your business, I would actually write out the font name that you're selecting. And I am going to change this with so a little bit smaller. You can type in here too. And this is kind of, a, this is a text grid. So it's like kind of designed for you. If you don't like this or this doesn't match, notice there's text over here. So you can use different ones, but the whole goal is for you to get all of your fonts out. So don't worry about being so fancy here. Um, or you might find a font combination that you love here. Whatever that says proposal, I really like that font. So I'm going to do that real quick. Six caps. Okay. So I'm going to make this, again, this is not necessarily the way you select your fonts, but I'm going to give you a couple of tips. Um, six caps. You want a font that is serif, sans serif, and some kind of fancy font. I have a separate video that talks about that, but it's basically you want um, one of your fonts to have um, just straight straight, very easy to read. One has a couple of curls at the end and one is a little bit more fancy. Okay, so this is called six tap. I'm not worried about the colors right now. And then I need one that is, I'm just gonna pick one random one right now. Let's see what this is what I want. I'm just going to pick this now. And this is Elio Light. These are all pretty light, so I probably would pick something a little that stands out a little bit more. And since we're going to do a training on this, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. I don't like that font pairing. Okay. So I'm just going to pick one. I keep on saying that, and then I see it. I'm like, oh, I don't like it. So, um, you really want to do this outside of this. So I'm going to pause this. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to try to hurry up and just pick one. And keep... Okay, so I picked a couple different ones. The reason why you want this is some of your fonts you want for emphasis, some you want for easy reading, some you want to actually give another kind of look at it as you're creating your item. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just add my um, colors here. 
And here's that pink that we didn't really add. Okay. And it kind of shows, I like those two colors together. Actually, I like all three of those. Okay. So you can go through and make it bigger. I would also, these don't usually show up in the Canva font, but I would actually add our brand boards. I would add things like lines, or if you know that you're going to do, so what is this? This is martinis. I'm going to do triangles. So whatever you're going to use in your branding, I would add elements. Um, I don't like that. I like that, but what is it? Whatever is going to go with your aesthetic. I like this. So I would go through and just change the color to your brand colors and when you use items, right? And whatever you decide that you're going to do. So I have to go through. I'm going to go through. I really like um, this here. So I would start including elements like this, or I would do a second page if you want to. But I would start including some elements that you might include in your um, graphic. And then that way, later on, you know exactly which one. Um, so I, I'm going to add this to like. And I'm also going to add it to my folder. So I'm going to go down to training. I'm going to create new. And this is going to be brand element. Okay. What I would do when I find my fonts is I would also go to my brand kit and update um, that as well. But have fun here. You, what you're going to do is find different things. I really like the triangle um, thing that we're doing. So I would go through, and there's not really enough room here, but I would go through and start adding them different places. I'm going to send this to back. I'm going to go to position and send backwards and or to bottom. I might even do this. So have fun here. To give yourself some room to do this. I definitely wouldn't do this here. I'm just kind of showing you guys how I'm doing it. So you can kind of play around with your brand element. But each time you like something, so I do this and let's send this to bottom. It's not going all the way back. There we go. And kind of play around with it. And then what you're going to do is everything that you like, you add it to your folder with your brand element. What this does is every time you need something, you just come in here and grab it. There's a lot of things that I see that I would I would use. So um, I would play around with this and see which ones. So there's more of these. I really like this cut. Um, make sure it has the look and feel of whatever you're doing. and then. Next time you create your graphic, you have everything here. I would actually, um, this is the part that I almost forgot. I would come on top of the text and let's add some text and let's actually use our font for this. At the top, you'll see the fonts that are used here. So I'm going to use Laura and I would put the hashtag or the hex number of each of my colors. And what I used to do is I would save this as my background and print it out and then that way every time I have to you know design or send something or remember something in other apps um, I can always have the hex number so I would go on here I would make it a little bit smaller let's make it like 15 no nope, let's say 20 change it to white I click on an element I click up here all I have to do when I go to new color this is the color text I'm just right clicking copy go in here and paste. And now, since it's over each color, every time I need to use that color, all I have to do is look at either my background on my desktop or print it out. All right, so that's your brand board. I would save it. Let's go ahead and save it with our fake company. And I'll finish this a little bit later. But it's going to be called, what is it? Candy Cane Martini Bar. And I would make sure. And either email it to myself, save it to my Google Drive, you can download it, and then I would go back and move this to your folders so it's in your brand element folder. Um, if you go home, 
you'll see the last design that you did, and this is how it looks. It's going to need to refresh. I'm going to go ahead and press F5 on my keyboard so I can see it. That's my brand board. And then I'm going to move this to my training folder, brand elements, and that is my brand board. All right, so we went through and we worked with colors, elements, photos, fonts. If you have a logo, I would set it up there. But going forward with the rest of these trainings in the master class, you're going to use those same colors. Next on deck is how to create your logo in here. And I'm going to take you through some do's and don'ts of creating your logos, not just in Canva, but anything. I mean, if you're requesting one, if you're ordering one from someone else, now you have a brand board for inspiration. You can tell them what fonts you'd like to use. But the truth is you have to keep it simple. So see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions. Ciao.